Hey, this is Peter Pereira. Every day I find myself in new and interesting places. And this time I'm taking you behind the photo. Before we go in, uh, today we are at the Blue Fleet uh, Welding in New Bedford, Massachusetts. And New Bedford, as you know, is uh, known as the whaling city because of its long history to do with the water. Um, since whaling, New Bedford has gone through many phases and, and fishing is still um, the biggest industry probably in the city and New Bedford is, is the biggest fishing port in the country. Um, but beyond fishing itself, there's a lot of components that work together to make sure that the fishing fleet um, works. And this welding shop is responsible for a lot of the rakes and a lot of the dredges and a lot of the things, a lot of the components um, required by the fishing community to make sure they go out there and, and, and make their catch. So Mr. Lemieux here is a welder and, um, and he's busy right now putting some notes together. Well, actually filling my time book out because <laughs> I have to make sure I get the proper job filled out with the proper time. If I don't, the boss ain't gonna be charging the proper time. And that's not a good idea, is uh, it? Oh, no. Because <laughs> he will get mad if I don't get it right the first time. So we got a couple of mats here. This is Matt Lemieux, and we got Matt DeRozier over here. Two welders, and we caught him at lunch. So I'm, I'm really, I, I'm, I know that they're so happy to be uh, interrupted during the 20 minutes yeah, they have off, right? Yeah, we are. Yeah, so uh, what, what, are you, what are you guys working on today? Uh, building a nine foot uh, scallop dredge. All right, so I'll tell you what, let's get back in there. You think that's a good idea? All right, it's time to photograph these guys. It's always good to be welcomed into a situation like this because at the end of the day, the simple fact is everyone understands the fishing community, but the components that it takes to make the, the fishing community run are just as important as the fishing community itself. So these are the guys that keep the fleet running, keep the scallops flowing, keep you going to your restaurant to eat. So let's go check out what these guys do. The hardest part about photographing something like this is the difference between the shadows and the highlights. There's a huge discrepancy, big, huge difference. So where, exposure-wise, are you gonna be to get something that works? Then, of course, there's the sparking. Now, if you're shooting with a real fast shutter, the sparks are just gonna be balls of light. What you want is something that flows to show. That only happens with slow shutter speeds, of course. Right. So what I do, I shorten my base down by about a quarter inch, right. below the 15 feet. This way, I There's know no problem. there yeah. won't be a problem. Right. can't stress enough how important safety is at all times. I mean, you're working in an environment that you're not familiar with. To so these guys, this is home. But it's not like I hang out in a welding shop every day, so just be very aware of what it is that you're stepping on, what you're grabbing on. This is probably very hot. Yeah, I can actually feel the heat. Always be aware, always. How long have you been a welder? Uh, well, 
buddy, something is. Yeah, these guys tell me I like as good as it gets. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's kind of. <laughs> Like for instance, something like this, I don't know if you can see it, but without the right exposure, you're either going to blow it out completely or it's going to be too dark. And if you look at this particular exposure here, which is a fifth of a second F11, you can clearly see the sparks and you still have enough detail to make out what it is that's going on. So today we got a chance to visit the Blue Fleet uh, welding shop. Awesome place, great people. It's really cool to see though, every industry. You know, the people that accomplish stuff, the people that get far, and the people who love their job. And I can tell you something, these guys, they wouldn't, they wouldn't want to be anywhere but right there welding. <laughs>